I've prepared the deployment share by adding optimized desktop applications to it and creating a custom task sequence that adds Office 2010 to the AppV cache. I'm also deploying BitLocker drive encryption to client computers by using MDT, so I need to customize the Windows recovery environment. By default, the Windows recovery environment will remain on the partition that is protected with BitLocker and therefore be inaccessible when the F8 boot option is selected. So I need to move the Windows recovery environment image from the default location on the C drive after successfully deploying Windows 7 by using MDT 2010. To do that, I'll use a custom script that moves the boot image file. I'll then incorporate the Dart tools into the Windows recovery environment to provide additional resources for service desk technicians to use to support client machines. The folder you see here is an extracted copy of the ERD ISO file generated by the Emergency Repair Disk Commander Wizard, available in the Diagnostics and Recovery toolset. I'm simply going to copy the boot.wim file from the ERD to the scripts folder of the deployment share and rename it to winre.wim so that the Windows recovery environment will work correctly. In addition to copying winre.wim to the deployment share's scripts folder, I need to copy the script that will customize the Windows recovery environment to it. The Z custom Windows re.wsf script moves the winre.wim file from the cmdtds scripts directory to the hidden BDE drive partition on the client computer. It uses a scripted disk part command to unhide and hide this hidden partition, which explains the purpose of the Z disk part text files. You can download Z custom Windows re.wsf and the Z disk part text files from the link you see here. I'll also customize the script to move the boot image I copied to the scripts folder to the correct location on the Windows 7 client computer. You see those modifications here. Adding Z custom Windows re.wsf and the Z disk part text files to the deployment isn't enough. I also need to add a custom step to the task sequence that runs the script. You see that command here. Now, this task sequence will run zcustomwindowsre.wsf during the state restore phase. The script will copy the boot image from the scripts folder to the appropriate location on the client computer so that with BitLocker turned on, pressing F8 will still start the ERD.